Hey guys, my name is Kavya and welcome to 4th grade math talk. Today's topic covers the geometry standards. We will be working with angles, lines, shapes, and symmetry. As always, our videos consist of 8 to 15 review questions, and each one is timestamped in the description box below. If you get the question right, feel free to skip to the next timestamp. But if not, go ahead and watch the explanation after the question so you know what you got wrong. If you want to review certain topics after the video, we have a link for further reference page in the description box below with extra practice. All right, let's get started with the first question. Before we get started with the questions, um, here is a chart you can use to reference to, um, to look at different kinds of angles, lines, and shapes. Um, here is a continuation, and this chart focuses on classifying triangles and quadrilaterals. All right, let's begin with the first question. Question number one. Angelina said the figure below is a ray, but TJ said it's not. Who is correct? So pause the video here if you need more time with the question. The answer to this question is Angelina. Um, for this question, you might want to go look at the geometry chart provided earlier. Okay. Um, so this segment starts with a point, and it continues on forever in this direction, which you know because it has an arrow. Um, when that occurs, that is a ray. So, and you can identify a ray because you see one point and one arrow. Um, so that means Angelina is correct. Question number two. Ben drew a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, and his sister Michaela drew the same quadrilateral, but it had no right angles. What quadrilateral did they both draw? So pause the video here if you need more time with the question. The answer to this question is they drew a parallelogram. For this question, you might want to go look at the geometry chart we provided. So we know that Ben drew a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Well, there are a lot of shapes or a lot of quadrilaterals that have two pairs of parallel sides. So this rectangle, it has two pairs of parallel sides. You have this side and this side, you have this side and this side. This square also has two pairs of parallel sides. You have this side with this side and this side with this side. And you also have a parallelogram. So parallelogram, this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side. One thing you may have noticed though is a rectangle it has four right angles. In a square, it also has four right angles. But this quadrilateral has no right angles. It has acute and obtuse angles. And it says that Michaela drew the same quadrilateral as Ben did, and it had no right angles, which means that it can't be the rectangle and it can't be the square. So it is the parallelogram. OK, moving on to the next question. Question number three. Jared counted the number of acute angles and obtuse angles in the figure below and added the two numbers. His wife, Lourdes, then counted the number of right angles from the same figure and subtracted that number from the sum that Jared got. What shape is it and what numbers did they end up getting? So pause the video here if you need more time with the question. The answer to this question is the shape is a hexagon and the number they ended up getting was two. Okay, so this is a diagram um, which is already labeled for you. So this is the same shape. And so we can see that here it counted the number size, which we're gonna do anyways. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And if you go back to the geometry chart we provided, or if you already know it, um, a shape with six sides is a hexagon. So that answers the first part of the question. So we know the shape is a hexagon. Okay, now we're going to do what Jared did. So Jared, he counted the number of acute angles and the number of obtuse angles in the figure and then added those two numbers. So you have A plus O. So when you look at this figure, you don't see any acute angles because all the angles are either right angles or obtuse angles. So we're going to start off by counting. So we know that there's zero acute angles. So A equals zero. And then with obtuse angles, we're going to count the number of obtuse angles. So there's one obtuse angle, two, three, and four. So O equals four. So you're going to add zero plus four, and you're just going to get four. So this is the number Jared got. 
And now we know that Lourdes counted the number of right angles and then subtracted that from 4. So the number of right angles is 2. You have this angle and this angle. And you're going to take, so you're going to take 4 and you're just going to subtract 2 from it and you'll get 2. So that's the number they got in the end and the shape is a hexagon. Okay, moving on to the next question. Question number four. Out of the set of polygons below, Cal circled the ones which had at least one set of parallel sides. Which polygons did he circle? Okay, so pause the video here if you need more time to figure this question out. The answer to this question is he circled the rectangle and the trapezoid. Okay, so with this question, you can look at the geometry charts, but it isn't necessary. Um, so it says that Cal circled the polygons which had at least one set of parallel sides. So now we're going to look at these shapes and we're going to see how many of them have at least one set of parallel sides. So we're going to start with the rectangle. And this rectangle has, so these two sides are parallel, so that's one pair of parallel sides. And these two sides are also parallel, so this one has two pairs of parallel sides. So he circles the rectangle. We're going to move to the next shape. Um, so this shape is a septagon or a heptagon, and we know that because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. And when you look at this shape, you can see that none of the sides are parallel. So he doesn't circle this one. Um, the next shape is a trapezoid. And while looking at the trapezoid, you can see that this side is parallel to this side. So it has one pair of parallel sides. So that means he also circles the trapezoid. And then the last shape is this triangle, and while looking at the sides, you can see that none of them are parallel, so he doesn't circle the triangle. So he circles the rectangle and the trapezoid. Okay, moving on to the next question. Question number five. Out of the polygons below, Olive circled the ones which had at least one set of perpendicular sides. Which polygon did the Olive circle? Okay, so pause the video here if you need more time to figure this question out. The answer to this question is she circled the rectangle and the right triangle. So this is the rectangle, and this one is the right triangle. Okay, um, so for this question, you might want to, again, go look at the geometry charts, but again, it's not necessary. Um, so we know that Olive circled the polygons, which had at least one set of perpendicular sides, and so this is a set of perpendicular sides. When two sides are perpendicular, they create a right angle, and... Um, as mentioned before and in the geometry charts, a right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so we're gonna start off by looking at this trapezoid. Um, this trapezoid does not look like it has any right angles and it, that's because it doesn't have any right angles. So she did not circle this one. Um, the next shape is a rectangle and rectangles have Four right angles, um, which means that she did circle this one. So we'll put a tight check next to it. This next shape is so how many sides does it have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, this is a septagon or a heptagon, and this one doesn't have any right angles, it just has obtuse angles, so this one isn't circled either. And this last shape is called a right triangle. Um, and just like it says in the name, it has a right angle, um, which means that it has a set of perpendicular sides. So this is the right angle. So that's one right angle, and she circled that one too. So the shapes she circled are the rectangle and the right triangle. Okay, moving on to question number six. Question number six. Eden counted the lines of symmetry of the trapezoid shown below. How many lines did she count? Okay, so pause the video here if you need more time with the question. The answer to this question is one. Um, so this um, kind of box kind of talks about what symmetry is. And so when a shape has symmetry, you can basically draw a line through it, and each of the sides will mirror the other. Um, and so one shape can have multiple lines of symmetry. So just because you have one shape doesn't mean you only have one line of symmetry. So when you see the square, you can actually see that there are four lines of symmetry. So you have this one, this one, this one, this one. So I'm going to redraw the square here just to give you an example. So this line of symmetry basically means that this side 
it looks the exact same as this side. It's like this line is a mirror. Okay, and with this pentagon, I know it's a pentagon because it has five sides. This one has one line of symmetry, two, three, four, five lines of symmetry. Okay, so now back to the question. So the first shape is a right trapezoid. And if you look at it, you can see that it doesn't have any lines of symmetry. So if you were to split it like that, these two sides aren't equal. If you were to split it like that, this side is not equal to this side. And so if you'll keep trying and you're not going to find any lines of symmetry. Um, the next shape is just a regular trapezoid. And you'll see that if you split it right down the middle, this side will be equal to this side. Um, and if you split it any other way, it will not be equal. So this one has one line of symmetry. This shape has zero. And so that means she only counted one line of symmetry in total. Okay, moving on to the next question. Question number seven. Grace counted the lines of symmetry in the triangle shown below, and her brother Tariq counted the lines of symmetry of the rectangle. What number will you get if you multiply the two numbers they got? Okay, so pause the video here if you need more time to answer the question. The answer to this question is 2. Um, so to the right is just the same triangle and rectangle. Um, so we're going to first start off by counting the lines of symmetry for each of them. So this rectangle has one line of symmetry going down like that and another one going like that. The triangle has one line of symmetry going like that. Okay, so Grace, she counted the lines of symmetry in the triangle. So that means Grace counted the number 1. Tarek, he counted the lines of symmetry with the rectangle, so he counted 2. So now you have to multiply the two numbers they got. So you have to multiply 2 and 1, and when you do that, you will get 2, which is the answer to this question. Okay, moving on to the last question. Question number 8. Out of the quadrilaterals shown to the right, Zeke counted all of the quadrilaterals that had at least two lines of symmetry. Later, his friend Drea multiplied the number he counted by the total number of lines of symmetry she counted with the same list of quadrilaterals. What number did she get? So pause the video here if you need more time to solve this question. The answer to this question is 14. So we're going to start off by counting the lines of symmetry for each shape. So this square, it has one line of symmetry going down the middle like that, another like this, one going diagonally, and another one going diagonally, but the other way. So that's four lines of symmetry. The rectangle, it has one going down the middle vertically, another one going down the middle horizontally, so that's two lines of symmetry. And the trapezoid, it has one going down the middle vertically. So that's one line of symmetry. So Zeke, he counted all the quadrilaterals that had at least two lines of symmetry. So um, the two, they're, out of these three shapes, only two of them have at least two lines of symmetry, and that's the square, the rectangle. So Zeke counted the number two. Drea, she counted the total number of lines of symmetry with all of the quadrilaterals. So to find that, you're just going to add the lines of symmetry with each. So the square has 4, the rectangle has 2, and the trapezoid has 1. So when you add all of those together, you get 7. So Drea counted the number 7. So then she multiplied the number she got and the number Zeke got. So 7 times 2. And when you do that, you will get 14. I hope that this video was a good review of these standards. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, feel free to check out our link for further reference page if you want more practice. If you have any more questions, let us know in the comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.